Assalamu alaikum. My name is Malik Faz Sarwar and my team member is Muhammad Rizwan Munawar. The title of our project is Wa Online Dropshipping Site. Talking about the application area of our project, it aims to solve a real world problem that people are facing nowadays. The pandemic situation has drawn a huge attention towards the online shopping. But fraud is the biggest disadvantage of online shopping. This project aims to cater the problem of both the customers and vendors. The target market is local vendors and customers to benefit from our platform. We are implementing a business model that is known as dropshipping. Dropshipping is a business model that allows the entrepreneur to start their online and sell their products to the customers without stocking the items. As there is pandemic situation, so users are more engaged in online shopping. So this project will be a benefit to them. Dropshipping is reliable as user can see previous history. So this, pro so this website will gain more traffic of users. Both the customer and vendors can register to the website. The customer can order from their trusted vendors. The customer can view other potential vendors as well based on the user ranking. The vendors can directly supply the product to their customers without stocking them. The business owner only needs to worry about the required cost related to websites. Business owner just require a laptop and internet connection. The online business owner now can expand their customers. We are implementing our website on the Laravel framework since it provides the MVC architecture. Later on, let's say that we want to add a new module. It will be easy to add it since the coding is structured. Other than that, we are using Ajax for proper updating flow and JavaScript, jQuery for making our website more interactive. The database we are using is MySQL since it is a relational database and will allow us to drive more relation among our data fields. This is the home page of our website, Shop Page tab. Here similar products from different dropshippers are displayed. A customer can order from the one he wants. If anyone who want to buy a product, then they have to log in to the website for the verification purposes. If the customer does not have an account, then he needs to register as customer. Here the customer is already registered. So adding the credential of a customer. Here only option are displayed that a customer has access to. A customer can order multiple products. We are working on this module. A customer can log out after the shopping. Now let's look at the dashboard of all our user role. Admin. Enter the credential of admin. Here the admin can add dropshipper means that dropshipper does not register by itself. The credential of dropshipper will be sent via email. An admin can also view all the existing dropshipper. Similarly, only admin can add category for product. Similarly, option for shipment and payment will be added by the admin. Entering the credential for supplier. A supplier can only add products that he has. This list will not be shown to the customer but the dropshippers. Entering the credential for dropshipper. The dropshipper can view all the products from all the suppliers. The dropshipper can select the product from the supplier he has contact with. Here the dropshipper will add his own price to the product that will be displayed to all the customer. Now let's see that if this product is displayed to the customer with the new price. Here you can see that this product is now visible to all the customer with the new price.
My name is Mohammad Rizwan Munawar and I will demonstrate the major implementation of our project. Since our project deals with sales, let's look at how the products are being managed in our system. In our case, only supplier can add products. So the create function of the product controller will be called. For its routes, the create function will display the view for adding the detail of a product. When the supplier is done adding the details of product, he can proceed to submit. On submitting the save function of the product controller will be called for its route. The function will receive all the values from the form and then those values will be stored to database. A supplier choose to add the product under the available category. A supplier is supposed to add the picture of the product. The path of the uploaded picture will be stored as a string. And image will be stored on the respective path to retrieve later. The supplier can view all the product he has added it for that the list function takes care that only respective products are shown by the supplier it takes care of it by matching of the current login user a supplier can also make changes to the availability of the existing products let's say we want to update the stock of a product. We can do it by clicking on the edit option for a particular product in the list view. The edit function will receive the updated values for the particular product and will update the entries. The new changes will reflect in the database. Now that we have seen that how the supplier is managing the products, now all these products will be shown to the dropshippers. The dropshippers can now add those products to their own profile. The dropshippers can change the price of the products by adding the reasonable profit. Now all these details will be saved against the respective dropshipper. The database will store the change value of the product in a separate table. The product will now be shown to the customer with the updated price. For every route, there is a function in the respective controller which performs the actual operation. We have different types of users for our website. We have four types of login. The login credentials for the admin are reserved. The customers and the supplier can register themselves. But the dropshippers are registered by the admin One can register themselves by going on to the register tab on the home page. The database is managing the role base on the values of our different types of roles. One cannot access the home page of the other type of user. Thank you for listening to the demo of our project.